police are still actively looking for the rest of the people involved. MSU spokesperson Michael Becker says quick action and faster, timely warnings across campus brought the investigation to Jeremy Schultz. Within 24 hours of the time we had uh, that timely warning go out to our campus community, uh, the hard work of the officers produced this arrest. According to court documents, Schultz matched the description of one of three men seen wrestling another man with what appeared to be a black handgun. When someone stepped into the hallway, they bolted, driving west in a red Dodge pickup. The other two men are still at large. There were three people who fled from Gallatin Hall, and obviously police are still looking for the others. Court documents show that Schultz admitted to going to the hall, wanting to get recording equipment back from the building. He also admitted to having the gun, which he claims was a realistic-looking BB gun. The dedication of the officers involved, the detectives involved, has been tremendous. They worked all throughout the night uh, to make this arrest. Chief Parrish says the campus special Victims Unit played an important role during the course of this entire investigation up until this point. He says they worked from about 1.30 in the morning well into the night. A lot of that is owed to the partnership between the Special Victims Unit, that is between the MSU police and detectives with the Bozeman police. Police and Becker both agree the use of technology, a timely warning rather than a shelter in place scenario, helped investigators get this far. We want to make sure that everyone's as well informed as possible. In court, the public defender says Schultz has a mental health issue and will be required to see a therapist once a week while behind bars. Neither the victim nor Schultz, Becker adds, are students or staff at MSU. At Montana State University, Cody Boyer, MTN News.